Hello all, this is the third installment of the Guilt Series tool videos. And today we're gonna to be working with the RT uh, HO550. This is the swivel head press. Some of you bought it in the last series. There will be more later. I sold all the ones I had, but there will be more later. This is a fantastic must have tool. And so we're gonna go over this one real briefly. I did go over this a couple weeks ago in the uh, preview. And, uh, but we're gonna do this right now. So let's get started. All right, so our second installment here of the Guilt Series tool videos, we're gonna be using this guy right here. And this is the RTHO 550. Now this one's mine, so it doesn't say TJ Club on it, but it might. Is Doug listening? Okay. And so we're gonna break down this gear plate with this tool. This tool is an absolute must have. The work it does and the, how quickly it does the work is the genius of it. So. We're gonna go ahead and put this in there loosely, bring our support plate, which is very important. If you don't have the support plate, you really should get one, they're not much. And then make sure you press this all down so everything's lined up. And then just swing this guy over. And the alignment on these is amazing. His, his work here is just excellent. And then now it's gonna, it's gonna, on some of these, it's gonna get pretty serious. So I usually put my thumb over here, but let's see here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There it goes. There it comes out of there. So I usually, if it starts to bow it, you know, put your put your fingers on here on the big end. Take that dude out. Okay, now our armature is out. Okay, there's our drive gear. And then here I got some more bearing hair out of that rear axle. That's pretty serious. And uh, coming to an auction near you. <laughs> so the next step is to make sure it's flat down in there and we're going to take this gear out right here and then just swing it over alignment once again the alignment is just excellent his work is so good on these and see how simple that is and it presses it straight down which makes sure that these holes don't get elongated or expanded so now our plate is clear and it's ready for cleaning, modifying, whatever you want to do. And let's say you've decided that the drive gear on this one's worn out and you want to take this out. There's not a lot of ways to do it. But wait, there is. You just put it in here, bring your puller over, and then press this all the way down through there. And I'll tell you what, that is without a doubt the easiest way to do those. Uh, otherwise, you will just sit and wrestle with them and wrestle with them. Now my shaft's, my shaft's stuck in the tool. There it is. And so there's the shaft. Everything's broken down at this point. We have this chassis completely broken down. Look at that. Is that another bearing here? Man, it's amazing. This thing went anywhere. Look at that. Another little pile. That was underneath that pinion. Both sides. <laughs> this is why this is why we build these right here look at that <laughs> another bundle of it that's the beauty of this tool is you break that chassis down in no time whatsoever and you do it in such a fashion that it saves all the gears it's an expensive tool luckily or hopefully it's the only time you'll buy it and i've had this one for almost 20 years and have used it and used it and used it and used it and you can't even hardly tell excellent tool so we're gonna go ahead and say that's that and uh, that's how you break things down with that and then i'm gonna maybe use this tool when we go to reassemble the car we'll see i'm gonna show you a little trick with this one so okay so that's video number two now we're gonna move to video number three and we'll see you then thanks for stopping by